Hello everybody, in this uh, video we have uh, taken a question and uh, that is based on a diffusion equation and it was asked in uh, December 2018 and the question is uh, we are given a, a function of x and d that is satisfying this diffusion equation where x is in between infinity and negative infinity t is positive and the initial condition is known that u of x 0 is 1 when x is in between 0 and 1 and otherwise it is 0 okay now we will find the value of this at uh, uh, 1 and the limit tending to 0 positive that's from the right hand side of the 0 as t is given to be uh, positive it has to tend from right hand side only so if you remember that uh, if i are given a, a wave equation uh, on an infinite string we use a, a dl numbers principle okay and uh, now here it is not a a wave equation it's a diffusion equation and uh, we can say the length of the rod is infinite so for this uh, we will not use that uh, method separation of variables and all that. Uh, I will just discuss a, a method here and uh, then we will use that to solve this type of uh, problem. Okay, we will consider a diffusion equation, uh, diffusion equation of uh, one dimension with the diffusion constant alpha. Here x is in between infinity like to infinity t is positive okay and there is a condition given uh, with the condition u of x0 is a form x okay now the solution of this if it is of this type solution of this is 1 upon 4 pi alpha and t this is a random root then negative infinity to infinity negative infinity to infinity f of psi then you have exponential of negative x minus psi whole square upon 4 alpha t then you have d sine. Okay. So if it is of uh, the, the diffusion equation is of uh, this type and x is infinite, then the solution can be obtained with using this. And if you just look at this, it is satisfying this, it is of this type. And uh, if we just compare here, alpha is from comparing, you can see here uh, alpha is 1. Okay. So we can just write the solution u of x t is 1, 4, 5, and t as alpha is 1. Okay. And then integral like to infinity to infinity f of psi and uh, then the exponential of uh, like to x minus t, x minus psi whole square upon 4 t only as alpha is 1. And then you know this d sign okay now we can write this as 1 upon 4 pi uh, 4 pi t only as alpha is 1 and uh, this will break this interval from negative infinity to 0 it is f of psi then you know exponential of uh, negative x minus psi whole square upon 4t this is d psi plus I just keep this from one by this and then we can write it as 0 to 1 f of psi same exponential of uh, negative x minus psi whole square upon 4t which is again d psi and then it is 1 to infinity f of psi again exponential of negative x minus psi whole square upon 4 t d psi okay i'll just uh, break this interval into three now you can see it is a negative infinity to zero and uh, in this portion uh, f is zero and again from one to so on up to infinity in this portion f is again zero uh, using this Okay, and uh, f you can just clearly see from there. 
So that means this is zero, and this interval is zero. Okay. So we are left with uh, this row. Okay. So we will just go in here. Mm, so for u of x t is, I will uh, rub this off. There's no need to. Okay, so where the u of x t is now one by uh, four pi and t under root, and then you have the interval zero to one. Okay, now in this interval zero to one, f is one, so it is one only. So it is exponential of. You can just look at this. It's a like to x minus psi upon I will write four t root and whole square and then it is d psi. So that when you apply this uh, square, this will become x minus psi whole square and this will be only four t, which is this one. Okay. So. Now I need to solve this uh, uh, integral now. Uh, let me solve it by substitution. I will just put uh, this uh, x minus psi upon root of 4t equals say z. Now the moment you differentiate both sides with respect to z, you will get negative this psi upon 4t only equals this thing. Okay. That will yield us, uh, or you can write it, it will yield us as this psi is equal to negative under root of 4t and the z. Okay? Now, when uh, psi is equal to 0, psi is equal to 0, z is equal to x upon root of 4t. Okay. Similarly, when uh, psi is one, z is x minus one upon forty. Okay, x minus one. So you can just write this uh, integral will change one upon under root of 4 pi and t now the integral will be from x upon under root of 4 t and x minus 1 upon under root of 4 t okay then you have exponential of negative z square only and in place of uh, d psi you will write uh, negative under root of 4t and then d z under root of uh, 4t under root of 4t will go negative will come out so this will be negative 1 over root of pi only and uh, then you have this integral x to under root of 4t then x minus 1 under root of 4t and e power I can just now write it as z square and the z okay so this is u of x now if I now write u of 1t, that is uh, what is to be found, I will write it's negative 1 root of pi, okay, negative 1 root of pi and in place of x we need to put 1, so it will be 1 by root of 4t and uh, in the this limit will become zero the moment you will plug in x equal to one. Okay, you are left with 
z divize. The negative sign is out. Okay. Let me about this as well. So you can just see that uh, if I just change the limits, the negative sign will go. Okay. That's it will become uh, zero to one upon under root of four t e power minus z square d. This is u of one t. Now the limit t approach to zero plus u of one t is equal. This is one by root of pi as it is. The moment you approach the limit t to zero, this will become infinite here. So it is zero to infinite t power z square d z. This is as it is zero to infinite e power negative z square d z. It's a standard integral, and we know the value of it is what the value of this integral is under root of pi upon 2 so this pi under root pi under root pi will go so our answer is 1 over 2 only which is option number 2 and that's it hope you have understood it and uh, this question will be uh, beneficial you know for you to solve the questions of this type okay, in the next video we will take up all the heat and wave equations using the Laplace transformation so that we'll be able to solve those questions in, uh, uh, in less than a minute okay thank you for watching